Hello and welcome to TechWolf. Today we are going to go over another CompTIA A Plus Core 1 practice questions quiz. And if you will find this video useful, leave a like, share this video, so as subscribe to the channel as I will be posting many more of these quizzes. And if you are interested to take more CompTIA A Plus Core 1 question quizzes, then find the link to full playlist of these quizzes in description and in first pinned comment. And no further ado, let's jump into it. In this quiz we will have 15 questions. And let's start start with first one which is a user reports their laptop is overheating frequently which of the following is the most likely cause corrupted operating system weak wi-fi signal faulty battery dust build up in the vents and malware infection and the correct answer here is dust build up in the vents as dust build up in the vents block airflow leading to the overheating. Faulty battery may cause power issues but not overheating. A corrupted operating system wouldn't cause overheating directly. Malware can cause high CPU usage but it is not primarily overheating cause and weak Wi-Fi would not affect the laptop's temperature at all. A desktop fails to boot and produces a series of beeping sounds. What is the most likely issue? Faulty RAM? Loose monitor cable, failed power supply, or failed hard drive? The correct answer here is faulty RAM. Failed power supply usually results in no beeps. Faulty RAM, which is correct answer, faulty RAM often triggers BIOS beep codes to indicate a memory issue. A loose monitor cable would not prevent the system from booting. It would affect display output. And missing operating system would show an error but would not cause a beeps. A failed hard drive might cause a boot issues but wouldn't trigger beeping. Next question is a user complains that their computer is running slow after installing a new software. Which of the following is the most likely cause? Weak Wi-Fi signal, sorry I forgot to put there L, damaged hard drive, overheating CPU, insufficient RAM or bad power supply? And the correct answer is insufficient RAM. RAM. New software may use more memory, leading to performance slowdowns if RAM is insufficient. A bad power supply would cause power issues but not slow performance, and the damaged hard drive would cause crashes or errors, not just slow performance. And weak Wi Fi affects internet speeds, not general computer performance. An overheating CPU would likely to cause the system to throttle or shut down. Next question, which is question 4. A technology Technician installs a second hard drive in a PC, but it is not showing up in the operating system. What is the most likely cause? Drive not formatted, incorrect power supply, bad RAM, faulty network card. And correct answer here is drive is not formatted. As a new hard drive must be formatted before it can be recognized by the operating system. An incorrect power supply could cause system instability but wouldn't affect the drive being detected. And bad RAM cause crashes or boot failures, not drive issues. Corrupted BIOS may affect hardware detection, but that's less common. And faulty network card affects internet connectivity, not a drive recognition. Let's move to the next question, which is a user's smartphone screen is cracked but still displays content. Which of the following is the most likely solution? So how you would solve this problem if you would be IT technician? Reboot the device. Replace the SIM card, reinstall operating system, replace the screen and clean the charging port. And correct answer here is logically to replace the screen. Replacing the cracked screen is the appropriate solution and reinstalling the operating system will not fix a physical screen problem. A SIM card swap would affect cellular service, not the screen. Cleaning the charging port is irrelevant to a screen issue and the rebooting won't fix the physical damage. Question 6. A user cannot print to a network printer but can print to a local USB printer. So he is able to print but only to local USB printer. Which is the most likely issue? Printer is offline, incorrect printer driver, faulty USB port, outdated operating system and low ink. And here correct answer is printer is offline. 
as the driver would affect printing to both printers, if that would be a driver's fault. If the network printer is offline, it would be unavailable, like it is with our case. And an outdated operating system would likely affect both printers. Low ink would not stop a printer from accepting a print job. And the USB port is unrelated to the network printing in general. Let's move to the question 7. A user connects to a USB drive, but it is not recognized by the system. Them. What is the most likely cause? Incorrect operating system version, malfunctioning power supply, insufficient power to the USB port, outdated network drivers, corrupted file system on the drive. The correct answer is corrupted file system on the drive. As most modern systems provide sufficient power to USB ports, a corrupted file system can cause a USB drive not to be recognized. And the operating system version rarely affects basic USB drive recognition and malfunctioning power supply would cause broader system issues. And network drivers have no effect on USB devices. Question 8. A technician is upgrading a RAM in the laptop. After installation, the laptop powers on, but the screen remains blank. What is the most likely cause after technician has installed or upgraded RAM in the laptop? Corrupted operating system, disconnected battery, hard drive failure, incompatible RAM and loose power cable. And correct answer here is incompatible RAM. As incompatible RAM could prevent the system from booting or displaying anything. A disconnected battery would stop the laptop from powering on at all and hard drive failure would still allow the system to boot to the BIOS and the corrupted operating system would typically still allow the BIOS screen to show. The laptop is powered on, so the power cable isn't the issue. Question number 9. A user is experiencing very slow data transfer speeds when using a USB 2.0 drive on a USB 3.0 port. What is the most likely cause? Corrupted drivers, malware infection, bad USB cable, faulty power supply, USB 2.0 drive limitation. And here the correct answer is USB 2.0 drive limitations. As USB 2.0 drives are limited to 480 megabytes per second, even when used with a faster USB 3.0 ports. A faulty power supply would cause more general power issues, a bad USB cable could cause connection failures, not just slow speeds. Corrupted drivers would likely prevent the drive from from working entirely and malware infection typically affects overall system performance, not just USB speeds. Question number 10. Technician is installing an older PCIe video card into a motherboard, but the system does not detect it. What is the most likely issue? Incompatible video card, insufficient power supply, BIOS misconfiguration, bad RAM, or corrupted operating system. And correct answer here is incompatible video card. If the video card is too old for the motherboard or lacks proper drivers, it won't be detected. An insufficient power supply would cause the power issues, not detection issues. The operating system plays a role, but the failure to detect the hardware often points to the compatibility. Bad RAM wouldn't directly affect video card detection. A BIOS misconfiguration would cause a detection issues but is less likely than incompatibility. Next one is a user reports no sound coming from their computer's speakers, but the system shows sound displaying. What is the most likely cause? Corrupted audio drivers, muted system volume, outdated BIOS, faulty power supply or loose speaker connection. And correct answer here is loose speaker connection. If the system shows sound playing, the volume is likely not muted. A loose connection between the computer and the speakers is a common cause of no sound output. Corrupted drivers could prevent sound from playing, but this is less likely if sound is shown as playing. A faulty power supply would cause more severe system issues and an outdated BIOS rarely affect audio output. And question number 12, after upgrading laptop to a new version of Windows, the screen resolution is incorrect and cannot be changed. 
What is the most likely cause? Incorrect RAM size, outdated display drivers, damaged screen, faulty GPU, or corrupted hard drive. Correct answer here is outdated display drivers. After an operating system upgrade, outdated drivers can cause issues with the display resolution. Incorrect RAM size wouldn't affect the screen resolution. A damaged screen would show physical issues, not just incorrect resolution. A faulty GPU or video card or graphics processing card could cause graphics errors, but not just the resolution issues. A corrupted hard drive would likely cause crashes, not screen resolution problems. And question number 13. A technician is troubleshooting a desktop that restarts randomly. Which of the following is the most likely cause? Incompatible software, overheating CPU, low disk space, faulty video card, and malware infection. And the correct answer here is overheating CPU. As an overheating CPU can cause the system to shut down or restart to protect itself. A faulty video card causes display issues but not a typical random restart. Low disk space may slow the system but not cause restarts. And malware can cause shutdowns and crashes but is not usually linked directly to the random restarts. And incompatible software typically causes application errors, not system-wide restarts. And question number 14. A user laptop keyboard is not responding. But an external USB keyboard works fine. What is the most likely issue? Faulty power supply, loose monitor connection, disabled keyboard in BIOS, corrupted operating system, or laptop keyboard is faulty. And correct answer here is laptop keyboard is faulty. A disabled keyboard in BIOS would usually affect all keyboards. If an external keyboard works but the laptop keyboard does not, the laptop keyboard itself is likely faulty. A corrupted operating system would affect both internal and external keyboards. A loose monitor connection would affect display output, not the keyboard. A faulty power supply would cause general system instability, not just a keyboard issue. A user is attempting to install a new application but receives an error stating insufficient privileges. What is the most likely solution? Disable antivirus software. Reinstall the operating system, update the application, replace the hard drive, or run as administrator. And the correct answer here is run as administrator. As running the application as an administrator grants the necessary privileges to install it. And here you go guys. And like I mentioned, if you are interested to watch all CompTIA A plus Core 1 quizzes, then find the link in the description and then first pinned comment of this video. And if you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.